I'm Riff. I'm Mikey. And today, it's time to go to a different swap meet. Come on in, come on in. Welcome to see the Pixel Game Squad. This is the greatest game hunting channel in the north. Step right up, step right up, Shay. I don't know why this typewriter looks so cool. It almost reminds me of like, I would say like some sort of like Commodore or something like that. Just like the writing and the font. Yeah, it looks super clean too, the box. I've never seen the typewriter box look so clean. I know, I feel like they're pretty <laughs> cool. Eh? Modern layout features like bold, centering and right margin flush make the AX250 ideal for homework, school or university projects and for your home office. Plus a full line of correction memory. I like the colors. What's up, brother? <laughs> Fortune. Let's see, ready? There it is. We are fortune. Daggy dog. So I did get Wheel of Fortune on the PS3, which I had no idea. It's like a $16 game on price charting. She was like 50 cents on it. Once she said 50 cents, I started scrambling for everything else. Cause I'm like, oh God, if every game's 50 cents, but this is the only one. <laughs> and guess what? I got something too, bro. What'd you get? Look, so I had to get this oh. Funko Pop because it has an E3 2019 sticker. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, E3. But hey, look, SoCal Gaming Expo, the next E3. For sure, 100%. I was actually- E4? I was E4. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Have a good day. God be with you. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Have a good day. God be with you. Did you see how quickly I made that into a little short video? Like took a regular clip and it became a short? instantly. That's because I've been using Filmora 14 and they have some crazy new updates I have to show you. I'm talking crazy. So these tools, whether you're like a hardcore editor, a newbie editor, someone just dipping your toes in the water, all of these updates make everything super easy no matter where you're coming from, I swear. Check this out. There are crazy new key features like multi-camera editing, smart short clips, which I'll go more into, smart scene AI, video denoise, which is super important for someone like me, and so many more. Check out Smart Short Clips, how easy this is. Click on Smart Short Clips, literally click or upload, a drag a file, paste a link, whatever you want. It's as simple as that. Just like that, you select your language, how long you want the video, what type of video, how you want it to look. Super simple. If you want it easy and don't want to get detailed, literally just hit generate. From there, once it generates, you can just go ahead and edit it if you want or just let it be the way it is and use that clip the way they did it. I, I told you, I said it was simple. Another banger for me in Filmora 14 is the AI video enhancer. This is perfect because nowadays we're filming from phones, we're filming maybe in bad lighting, weird scenarios. I'll show you how simple. Drop in your video and hit AI tools and from there you literally click AI video enhancer, then generate, you're good to go. It's gonna upscale your clip. It's dare I say unbelievable how quick all this works and how easy this is. I should also point out Filmora is available on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, so it's really anywhere you wanna create. From someone that's been doing editing for over a decade, I've never seen editing become this simple and this easy and this user friendly. You gotta check out the link in the description down below. All right, that's it for me. I'll have to create more things. Filmora 14, thank you. Y'all gotta check it out. Link down below. Change the way you create for the better. Let's go. I forgot my keys. I actually just really wanted this jacket because she said $1 with the corduroy collar, but. That's your style. It is, but it's all curmudgeon. And then this I thought was a freaking tail. Oh, doesn't this make it vintage? What? The stains. <laughs> if that would come off, I would actually, would that come off? Yeah, dude, it kind of looks like it might be like sweat. <laughs> I thought this was Tales from the Crypt. I got so excited, but it's like some camp thing. Super cool though. Tales from the Crypt. Garbage. Oh, nice. Out of nowhere. So one of the first booths we walk up to right away, I see like a little bit of plushie and I'm like, ooh, that looks like, like a Mario or something Nintendo. Or, oh, wait, wait, there's like Luigi's and stuff in here too. Oh, and Koopas. Oh, DK. And as I'm digging through, I realize this is a bunch of Nintendo plushie. And the best part is, and Mikey notices, this isn't like Timu plush, this isn't Wish plush. This is all official Mario plush. I wish Ricky was here because he's kind of like the plush king of like what's what. I'm gonna just ask how much more plushies. I ended up getting a killer deal. Only paid, I think, like two dollars a piece on those. Okay. Yeah. How much? How much for all? How many pieces? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like ten. Cool. I got you, bro. Thanks, man. Some of those can be worth money. I'm not exactly sure. I'll let Ricky take first dibs on what he might want for the collection. Otherwise, uh, I don't need the rest of them. But we'll see. Might have been a pickup for Ricky. Where is Ricky today, Mikey? I don't know. 
Ricky, where are you? I want to be Ricky's baby. Ricky? Oh, Ricky! Who do we have here? Jin Erso? Yeah, not for me. I'm not a big Star Wars Black Series guy. I think I can find that at Ross. <laughs> we'll find it at Ross. There's a Snow White there. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Mikey, Mikey, happy birthday. Mikey, I can't tell if that's cool or not. It would be really cool, but it says happy birthday on it. If that I didn't mean, say happy birthday. My birthday is coming up. <laughs> happy birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> oh, actually, I might buy some straps for oh, the Sprinter. Oh. I could always use extra straps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah those I are... might have to buy some of these, actually. Okay, we'll take yeah, a brief pause. Yeah, those come in handy for sure. From the program. <laughs> Mikey, I bought the straps. Oh. You, you know, because when you're, you're... I bought a big van on purpose so I could buy more big things. You never know when you need to strap it down. Oh, look, a Tails. Oh. Tails? From the crates. A Sonic? <gasps> Coco. Miguel! Go, go. Um, but the, 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 the loco. <laughs> Dang it, hey, there's some good plush in here, bro. And then this, dude, this one still looks cursed, even though it's, I think, fixed, but he still looks cursed. A little Simpsons donut over there? There's Wait, some there's a plush. stuff oh, in here. Let's see what else. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, there's like random tails. From the crates. Whoa. <laughs> it's hella tails. From the crates. He's one of these. Oh, He's the stretchy ones? <laughs> yeah. And there's another one right here. And a Pikachu. Ninja oh, Turtle. A Squirtle. Look, a Squirtle? Squirtle, Squirtle. There's toys everywhere. <laughs> okay. How much are the... How much is this one? $2. Two bucks. What about this one? Okay. Cool. Do it. Okay. okay. All right. So, yeah, I bought more plush. I don't know if I needed more plush. Two bucks each, but I was sold mostly on this. This is what... This is what turned the corner for me and said I need more plush. <laughs> what am I, Ricky now? The Pixel Game Squad are the coolest dudes on the internet. Have you thought about subscribing? You should. Also, Ricky is Mexican. <laughs> what am I even doing with all this plush? I don't even know why I'm buying this right now. The plush king. Look, more plush. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, they got like old PC stuff. This one's cool, Norit PC Terminal. What a cool look on that. But then Mikey. No, this is the grill right here. The Beanie Babies, a.k.a. Funko Pops. I'm about to, oh, I was about to say it just to I, make I you know. mad. I beat you to it. I know, I know what the internet says that triggers you. I was about to say, is that going to say for Funko Babies in 10 years? No, oh, no. Funko Babies? Dang it, I screwed up. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Funko Babies? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It's a bittersweet moment when you go to the swap meet and you see a booth with consoles on the floor. Look at that. Oh, and a switch. Hold on. Will you hold this for a sec? Oh, yeah, sure. This can be good because they're on the floor and maybe they don't really care about it. Look at what we have here. A PlayStation 4 just sitting here. And then look, a switch. Or it can be bad because it can be broken. Is this the old? It is the OLED. Yeah. So I start looking at it. Me and Mikey are like, OK, OK, this is the OLED model. Already a good thing. Let's see if it powers up naturally. Nope, nah. that scares me, that scares me. But you know, I saw that, I'm gonna ask about this as well. He says 150 bucks for this, which isn't bad. How much is the Switch? 150, do we know if it works or? Uh, no. no. If the OLED is broken, they sell for around 100 bucks parts only, but he's asking for 150. Yeah. Three There's three games? Oh, in here? But then he offers something else to throw in. And it comes with the Zelda. I know, but what if it doesn't work? That's true. 100. Oh, let me see. Goosebumps, Assassin's Creed, and Mortal Kombat. So no heavies. So it's no majorly good games or anything like that. But then I start thinking, I start thinking, okay, but if this does work, this is great. This is great. And OLED, actually very clean, especially for lying on a swap meet floor. Man, that's a $150 risk, man. I'm scared. Do I have a charger in my car? <laughs> Man, it's my, pretty clean. It's so hard. This is so hard because it looks really clean. It's untested, so it's a pure gamble. Pure gamble. But if it works, but what sells me the most is he then says, we're here every week. I do realize, I'm like, oh yes, I have seen this guy before. He's like, dude, you can return it. I don't care. He's always here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's not as bad because he said he's the one who's always here. So, and I do remember one of the guys always here. I shouldn't know it was him. Yeah. 
Then Mikey tells me, dude, look around. They might have the actual Nintendo charger. Lucky enough, they did. Do it. Mikey do says, it. do it. Do it. I got the charger. I got a charger at work. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. Okay, I'll try it, why not? For fun. So now, the hook for this video, you can't click out now, because Mikey and I later are gonna charge it and see if it works. Oh, I'm actually, Mikey, make your guess right now. Is it gonna work or no? Yes, it's gonna work. Mikey's gonna say yes. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes also. Let's go. Oh boy. Believe. Lots of games lying around. There's GameCube. Ooh, JoJo's. With a nice repo with some sealed box. ones too. I just got really excited, then it was my mistake. Silent Hill 2, and I was like, 37 bucks? It's Japanese. It's uh, Japanese. But still, hey, I'm Mikey, surprised they don't go for more. Some of this, bro, they got some of your anime stuff lying oh, around, bro. That's actually pretty cool, like just to have like on display. There's some good oh like this is so good of a box. Dude, actually, this is like the like the like the anime Smash Bros. Is it really? Yeah, look at look, look, look right there. They're what? all fighting on here. I've I've heard of this game. I've actually never heard of that in my life. Really? Bro, it's literally like Smash Bros, but it's anime. <laughs> I hate you. Dang, Super Famicom games real quick. Ooh. Oh, just I love the freaking boxes on Super Famicom. They just look like VHS tapes. A lot of these are not the kind of games I'd be into, but this one. Oh, dang. I was going to get this Lolo, actually, but the label's pretty beat up. So, dang. Man, that's all right. That's all right. I'm not mad. I'll get this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Tetris 2 plus, plus Bomb Bliss. Mikey, I don't even know what that, that means, but it's just, I, it's just. Bro, it's Bomb Bliss, bro. You know what that means? What? Come on, bro. Seriously? Like, do better. Do better, bro. Bomb Bliss. Think about it. Bomb Bliss. Oh, it's that song. Bomb Bliss. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mikey, show them what I got, bro. Whoa. My hands are full. All right, so Riffy Riff got this Adidas sweater because he said he's gonna be cold in a few months. Do you know what Adidas stands for? All day I, oh wait, hold on, no. All day I dream about, what, Mikey? Insert Come your on. word. Uh, all day I dream about. Serving the Lord. Come on. That's what I was gonna say, bro. You didn't okay. let me say it, bro. That's, that's what I mean. I have a stutter, that's why. <laughs> it's sweaty as a mother out here. And we're at Santa Fe Springs. Look at this, Mikey. Santa Fe Space. Oh. Santa Fe Springs. Oh, there we go. Damn, bro. No, no skin diseases for me anymore. You gotta represent. Wow. Oh, he's over here. <laughs> oh, sorry. I almost fell down. I almost had to call OSHA. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hey, it looks it's good. Not even close to Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, look at this. See the back. See the back. Cheers. Santa Fe Springs. Hey, Mikey. I mean, I'm not trying to flex, but I mean, look at me. It ain't no thing to do my thing. It's what I did the best. Yes. I cop that crib and bought two chains, and then I hid the rest. And it's okay to do your thing, but just don't do the most. Uh -huh. I put my friends in that old Benz and took that to the coast. Yes. It ain't no thing to do my thing. It's what I. Did. Does hat look good on me? <laughs> okay. Does this hat look okay on me? Looks? She says it looks good. Thank you. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> My hat look okay on me? Oh, he's got a better one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I like it. The upsell immediately. He's like, not compared to this one. <laughs> Mikey, what are these? Are these, these are licks. 1980s Funko Pops? Bobble heads. What? Man, these look super old. 2002, 2003, tour. World Whoa, tour. Interesting, and they're all Rolling Stones. I've never seen that before. And, and it has a whole collection from 2002. How much are these guys? 50 a piece. They're pretty cool. The only thing is though, the Mick, I did look online, the Mick is, sells for like 50 bucks, but look. Uh, Mick's been, no. Mick took the dick to the, I don't know what that meant. I'm so sorry, I don't know what that meant, and I just said things, and sometimes I just say things <laughs> for entertainment value and don't realize it till after, but I said things that don't make any sense. Cancel. <laughs> Mikey, did you ever mess with Kuropi? Well, yeah, my girl loves Kuropi. Some Part of the Hello Kitty family. Oh, that's right. She's I know all them all. Like, I know them all. Who else do you like? I like Kuromi. I like, um, like Tuxedo Sam. I like Pachaco or whatever his name is. Hey, bro, I'm actually into Hello Kitty now because of my girl. Are you really? Up for her. And then it's actually for me. Sure. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say for my girl. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I see some games over here. Uh, just crappy Wii Nerf games. Yep, nothing I need. Unless, unless...
Yep, I was wrong. Hey, this bag is kind of sick. How much is this bag? Five bucks. All right, this is, Mikey, this is from the 80s, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah it is. All right, okay, five bucks, hold that. Ooh. Oh, happy day. All right, Mikey, if you had to pick to me. one definitive video game, the game for the rest of your life, that's the only game you can know. play. I already know. Let's Come on, it. you should know too. Let's hear it. Smash Bros, all day. Okay, why? Well, Smash Bros has entertained me for years. It literally has like almost every single character from other games that I would um, actually play. You know, it has Donkey Kong, you know, it has all these other ones. So for sure, Smash Bros will keep me entertained for years to come. Okay, but wait, wait, and wait. And it wait. has. One more question. Who, if you could only use one character forever in Smash Bros, who would it be? Lucas. Luke, you are good with Lucas. You're annoying with Lucas. Lucas is my boy. I want to dress up like Lucas a little bit more, honestly, too. I want to have like a little shirt, a little shorts right here. Yeah. Paint your skin white. Be white, blonde, and cool. But he has multiple skins, too. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, I forgot. All right, he's diversity. There's no brown one, but. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Mario Strikers. I gotta look at some of this. Mario Strikers for 60 bucks. Wait, 60 bucks I don't, is I don't, a good price? I don't know what it goes for. Now that the backbone is valuable too, but I don't, I'm not up to date with my prices on like backbone or anything like that. How much is this one? Two bucks? I think I'll take it. It's official Nintendo Pocket Monsters. I'm trying to figure out if it's vintage or not, but it is. Official Nintendo. Look, Mikey, you can see that it is official Nintendo. Oh, it's official too? Yeah, so I, I, I feel like it's I feel like it's vintage. I don't see a date on it though anywhere. But well, either way. it has a tag. It has a tag. Pocket monsters? Yeah. That's, like you, yeah, like you don't see that all the time I'm too. Pretty sure everybody knows, but that's Pokemon in Japan. <laughs> Sure everyone knows that by now, right? Did you know that, Mikey? Yeah, I, I knew that, bro. I, I'm the one that told you that. Don't you, don't you forget? I wanna be the very best. Like no one Right when we were about to leave, Mikey and I saw an older gentleman who ran over something and obviously didn't want to get under his car for being older, so we decided to help him. Poor guy. Oh. It's, wait. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. There you go, there you go. Can I keep this? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. You, you too, too. I'll you throw too. This, I'll throw this away for you too. Cool, no worries. Bye, have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time for Mikey and I to head out to the swap meet and go test that OLED. I don't know how I feel about it. My brain wants to tell me that it's gonna work, but part of me is like, well, it's just sitting on a swap meet floor. What do you expect? So take your guesses in the comments Bef before I test it, before I test it. All right, it's time to test this OLED screen. Mikey, what are we thinking? It, Our final thoughts are... It's gonna work, bro. It's gonna work. We'll, we'll, we'll I'm putting the positive energy. I say we plug it in first, then pause. Wait like at least 15 minutes to give it a shot. Don't even look at it. Yeah, don't even look at it. Plug don't it and look walk it. away. Okay. Turn it around and everything. So there I was trying to work, waiting for the switch to power up. And I have to admit, I got anxious. I got anxiety sitting there, staring at it. Every few minutes, I tried to focus working, but I couldn't focus. I admit, I even pressed the power button a few times and nothing was happening. I cannot focus. Every 10 seconds that goes by feels like an eternity. Will this thing work? I'm feeling deflated. It's not turning on, is it? It's oh, been like bro, an look, hour. Look, look, look. You, you can see something on there. Is your reflection of how sad you are right now? You wasted 150 bucks. <laughs> but hey, look, 
at least um, it looks good. You know, like it looks good if you just leave it just laying around. I don't want to drive back there to return it. <laughs> well, hey, but you never know. Maybe if you leave it charging a couple more hours. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they turn on. I'm oh. telling. I've seen it happen. I know they probably witnessed it. It's been about two hours. Two more? Four? <laughs>